Allison. I'm so excited to be here. I know. Well, you know what? Rather, you, you have so many accolades. We could spend an entire hour, Thank you, you know, you. raving Thank about you. you. Thank you. But this is this cookbook is really a labor of love. It and is. It's almost like one of your children. It's it's like following you, your family, your life. It's it's all here, my friend. It really is. It really is. And at the end of the day, you know, I'm not wearing a chef jacket. This is my life in a book because I like to entertain. Yeah. I like to cook for my kids. If you have kids, you're gonna like it. If you, you know, if, if you want to cook for your friends, for your family, you just want to make sure um, that you follow the recipes. There's right. tons of tips. Yeah. Really easy to follow. Well, and we all want your life. We For sure we want your garden. <laughs> so this is your actual backyard. It is. 1,400 right? square foot organic edible garden wow. inspired by Mexico. Well, okay, so you have to describe that. So it's really, it's, it's kind of the best of all worlds and taking, you know, something that people are familiar with on a periphery, Mexican cooking, Yes. And of course, the the health and heritage of California yes, cuisine yes. as well. Yes, yes. And you really found a way to marry them together in a whole new way. Well, yeah. I think my, my mission in life has always been, you know, to tell people that Mexican food isn't the stereotype that people right. associate. It's not necessarily heavy. Um, I'm like you said in California, so it has a healthier spin. So, like I said, entertaining, healthy, Mexican at the core, but really important. All done with ingredients that you can find on the U.S. side uh, of the border. Right. Thank yeah. you for that. So yeah. it's not like crazy things. It's like I'm gonna have to do a special special mail order or something like that. No, no. So, Marcella, describe some of what we've got going on here. Well, first of all, I want to show you guys my breakfast skillet. And this okay. is important because we have here one of the ingredients that is hard to source, nopales, which is a cactus battle. Right. But one of the things that's great about the book is that I show you in, uh, substitutions for all the ingredients. Oh, no kidding. So, like, if you can find nopales, which you probably can't, right. go ahead and use a mushroom. Oh, really? If you can't find Mexican crema, go ahead and use sour cream. And that's what I think people appreciate the most. That I say, you can make this, and if you can't find the ingredient, I'll right. give you a substitution so that you can make that's it. Smart. So that's smart. So I've got really this smart. beautiful breakfast skillet and all it is is a little bit of tomatoes, potatoes, eggs, great for a brunch, great for entertaining family, a little bit of queso fresco. You Ooh. don't have queso fresco, crumble a little feta. Yeah, why not? You know, just make like e life easy. Oh, that's so pretty. And then a little bit of cilantro. Ooh, okay. that, that oh, cake. Oh, oh, oh that's Okay, me. wait. That cake. <laughs> It's right there. It's a tres leches. Come on. Isn't that beautiful? I buried the lead. You had me a cake. <laughs> Seriously. It's soaked in three different kinds of milk. Sweetened condensed milk, evaporated milk, and just regular milk with like vanilla and cinnamon. Really easy to put together and kind of a spectacular presentation. Okay, you know the thing that is so hard? We have all of these amazing talents today. Marcella, welcome yes. to HSN. But Thank you know you. the problem? They're, they keep making me move. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> I want to stay but here you, and eat. But yeah, you got to taste the food. That's what it's all I about. Know. You got to taste the food. I want to stay here and eat. Okay, so what do you have cooking up in, in the, the pan over there? Enchiladas. And that's one oh. of the things that's also great about the book. I give okay. you these, like, little tips and tricks nice. uh, that my mom and my grandma oh. and all the women in my family, because it was mostly the women doing the cooking, yeah. I, ha I have to say. I have right. to say. So this is a really good tip. This is one of my favorites. So okay. when you're making enchiladas, you know how sometimes they give them to you and they taste, like, all soggy and it's all wet? Absolutely. So this is what you do. This is the trick. You make a barrier. You dip it in oil first but you make sure it stays nice and pliable so once it's dipped you can fill it and this one I'm doing not with a traditional chicken filling but it's a sweet potato so it's also vegetarian oh wow but in the intro to the recipe I say you want to add shredded chicken go ahead and yeah. add shredded chicken it's all about making it accessible for you absolutely and one of the things to remember about Marcella too I have to show off these gorgeous creatures right oh my baby I know. and I had another one I have three come she, on she was born between when this book oh. was published so now there's a third one. We have to Photoshop her in there. Right, but you yeah. know what I think is interesting about that, Marcella, is, you know, it's it's not like you're a chef who has, you know, 10 hours to prep a meal. I mean, you're a busy working mom, it's so you have to be able to make things that are great, but don't take that much effort. And I <gasps> talk about that so much in the book. At the end of the day, I'm a mom to three kids yeah. and a wife. Absolutely. Well, a fiancé, really. Yeah, but yes. I call him a husband. Exactly. Right. Three kids later, like, right. husband. Well, and honestly, the book is filled with so many colorful pictures. It's it's like a little snapshot of your life. It it's is. like we get to know you. It sure is. And, I, you know, I would cross the border every single day to go to school in San Diego. So I've got a little bit of Mexico, yeah. a little bit of California. Just super easy, real Mexican, easy to follow. Well, and I think one of the things that I really appreciate too because let's whether we like to admit it or not we love the taste we love the flavor but you know we're, we're always mindful I think of you know trying to you know what's on the plate not on our hips so exactly. it's, it's nice exactly. to see a perfect combination well that's the thing it can be good for you and it can be really delicious yeah. you know this for example my kohlrabi salad all of these ingredients you can find at your market a really kind of healthy um, representation of what Mexican cuisine can be right and you'll find that all in the book you really will in fact I'm just I'm eyeballing this gorgeous chicken. I mean, I don't know whether to, you know, eat it or take a picture of it. You know what? You can certainly 
take a picture, and this is the secret to this one. There's jalapeno slices actually <gasps> hidden between the skin and the chicken breast. Okay. Oh, come on. It's insane. So when I you cut that. in, when you cut in, it's nice and juicy and you get a little bit of jalapeno. The skin is super crispy. And I always say this, once you can master one good recipe for roast chicken, right. you can get 75 ingredients from that after yeah, that. You, you absolutely know? can. It, it can turn into chicken salad. It can turn into flautas. It can turn into enchiladas. You can do whatever right. you want. And you know what? And you haven't forgotten about the party. You've got your own little party section here too, right? Mm -hmm. Bever the you can't be gay. You, can, right? you gotta have the day. <laughs> I, you know what I found? That people love it when I take a classic that everybody knows and loves and I Mexicanize it. That's yes. what I call it. So this is, you know, the Moscow mule. Everybody knows right. the Moscow everybody mule. Everybody does. I made a Mexican mule. Okay. So I basically made a simple syrup, which is basically sugar and water. Right. But I added a serrano, some heat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, a lot of heat. And I made oh. a simple syrup. And then you mix that with a little bit of tequila, a little bit of mint, and then you top it for a little bit of fizz, some ginger beer. Okay. And then when you serve it, Throw a serrano on the top, so oh beautiful. Oh boy. A mint leaf, and you're gonna get these recipes all throughout the book. Just kind of ways to really wow your guests, Fabulous. but with really simple process. Yes, and absolutely. And that's important to me, like I said, as a mom, as right. an entertainer. Absolutely, I have to say, the, the, the cookbook, is first